Well, uh, always going to be tough, I guess, going in with Michael Neal and Nathan Graves injured, but you must be disappointed with the result in the end. Yeah, immensely. Uh, we weren't far away again. You know, it was a point or three behind near enough the whole meeting, and then five on a heat 14 killed us, really. Uh, we, we, you know, there's no comeback from that. <laughs> it was a meeting loss, so, yeah, we're disappointed. Um, we just seem to be going through a bit of a rough spell at the moment where, you know, it's one injury after another or one mechanical problem after another, and um, it's unfortunate, but we got to try and grit our teeth and get through it. Um, you know, we got a... Uh, nearly two weeks off after Friday so we can regroup and hopefully uh, have a, you know some good meetings in July Yeah like you say it's been a bit of a rough patch but I guess like you say you've got to just regroup and go again and try and plug away and stay up there, I mean you're still second in the table, still going well, you can't be too downbeat I guess. No I mean you know not everything's not lost you know we've got, we've got a race away against Birmingham so there's always a chance to to pick something up in, in that meeting so um, yeah all's not lost we got plenty of time we got a lot of matches in in August especially you know so we can if we can uh, hit form then you know we can pick up potentially a lot of points so you know it's just difficult at the moment uh, we can't replace Nathan because of his low average there's nobody uh, who could do a good job you know everybody's just averages are too high um, and of course Mike's going to be out for a few weeks as well so it's a tough period but uh, which we're not being used to over the last few years but we uh, hopefully come through it on the better side and, and uh, have a go uh, against Stoke in a couple of weeks.